All right. It is the weekly live chat. It is Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. How the hell? How the hell is it already UFC 300? UFC 300 is already here. I don't know where the time went. I don't know where the time has been going. I don't know what's going on. I feel like we're in some type of time warp or time machine. Seems like just yesterday. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for UFC 295. Oh, 294. We have late notice replacements. Now, all of a sudden, it's 300. I don't know what is going on. But predictions are out. Full breakdown for the main event. Full breakdown for Gaethje versus Holloway. Grading video just came out. I also recorded another video last night. Top three reasons I love UFC 300, which I'll have to edit and put out tomorrow. I'll probably also do a, I don't know, it might be too late. I might do a Charles Oliveira, Armin Saryuki in full breakdown of prediction. I, I don't know. We'll see about that tomorrow. Pre uh, press conferences tomorrow. I actually have some shit to do, but the press conference... And now I got to watch the press conference in case something big gets announced at the press conference. So I believe that's 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. I guess I'll do a live stream during it like I've been doing. Uh, but yeah. So it's the week of UFC 300. I'll be live streaming on Saturday night for the entire card. I don't. I, I, I genuinely don't know where the time is going. I feel like I'm uh, going crazy. But I just dropped a video before I released, before I live stream. And, uh, yeah, that's out right now. How good is UFC 300 Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill? That is out right this very second. If you haven't checked out Full Card Predictions, go check it out. Let me see. It's got it's got almost 9,000 views, which isn't bad for me. It's decent for predictions. Decent for predictions. I wish. Man, we got the off week, and then we got a shit storm of bad fight cards coming up, boys. I really hate to break it to you. I really hate to break it to you. We got a shit. I, I just want to stop being an MMA fan for like a month straight. That's actually really depressing me. We got a week off. Then we got Mateus Nicolau, Alex Perez. Then we got 301, which isn't bad. So that isn't a bad card. Is 301. So I seen Strickland now said that he accepted a fight with Paulo Costa. Is that going to be in Brazil? Does anyone know if that's going to be in Brazil? I'm assuming maybe that's going to be in the Brazil. If so, that's a banger. That's going to be the co-main event for 301. Maybe. So at least that card's right around the corner. But then we got Luis Nascimento. Ew, Lewis Nottamento, main event. Ew, then we got Barbosa Murphy. Then we got the Leeds Hernandez, which is okay. Don't get me wrong, that's not bad. Then after that, we don't know. Then we're going to fly into the summer, and before you know it, it's going to be winter again. What's up, Fries? What's up, Bishop? What's up, Blaze? Agree 300 snuck up on this, even though we need the date for months. I know. I remember people saying, oh, what's going to be the main event for 300? What's going to be the main event for 300? I'm like, it's too early to tell. It's too early to tell. It's too early to tell. And now it's here. I believe I gave the first like. It's good to be here again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The press conference is probably going to be long because all the fighters are now. It'll still be like 30 minutes max. I think all the fighters that question, they're not. They're not. So are you 100% or still a little sick? I'm, I'm 100%. I have a little bit of congestion, but not really sick. Definitely, I will be there. I will also be there Saturday. Yeah, I'll be streaming Saturday. If you guys want to join me for the full card, a historic card, I will be here live on Saturday. I'm gonna. I'm actually make the graphics tomorrow, and then I'm gonna relax. I'm. Pl I'm not doing anything on Saturday. Is what my plan is, my tentative plan. So that way I can be well rested because I'm gonna be up late. Who knows what? How many videos I'm at to pump out on Saturday night. Main event breakdown, full card breakdown, maybe even a Gaethje Holloway breakdown, hopefully not. Maybe an Oliveira Armin breakdown by itself, maybe a post-fight press conference breakdown. Who knows? But luckily, thank God, we don't have predictions the following week. 
Thank you, MMA gods. Joe, we need some vitamin C, a good sweat, and a good fart, and get back to Hunter. I I'm pretty much out of Hunter. I just have a little congestion. Who has the most to lose at 300? I don't know. Go for subs by the end of 300. It was 20K, but for some reason, I've just stalled to literally nothing over the last couple days. I don't know how that's possible. Um, so it's 20K, which I'm less than 500 away, but who knows if I'm going to get it at this point because somehow UFC 300 Fight Week has stalled me to nothing, probably because there's so much oversaturation in content. I don't know. I mean, not it's not literally nothing, but I haven't been like flying up like I was, which is kind of annoying. Who has the most to lose at 300? Probably Jamal Hill. Because Jamal Hill loses, they'll say, oh, he was never the real champ, blah, blah. Hello, Joseph. What's up, Francis? Do you drink coffee, Joey? No, I do not. I've never drank coffee in my life. Joey was watching Hill versus Teixeira the other night. Glover was selling ugly calf kicks and tripping up Jamal. You think he can deal with Alex's kicks well? Not necessarily well, but I, I think I think he'll have more respect for Pereira's calf kicks. Why Jamal so friendly today? Is he Joey get a full body massage to get ready for 300 long stream? I should. We watch Garcia Haney next weekend. Not me. I don't plan on watching that. Is that a pay-per-view? So. Um, how fast do you think Justin will stop Max? I say second round. Hope you're having a good night. I say third round. Probably stops him in the third round. But maybe Max survives. Max has a nasty chin. How do you counter calf kicks? Turn your shin. Turn your shin out. So they kick your shin instead. Or you move out of the way. Or you jump over them. Or you light on the lead leg. Joe so moved to an area with a different time zone. Why? We moved to the West Coast. We're at 7 o'clock right now. Is that what you're saying? Max KO's Justin in the fourth, dude. Anyone picking Max? To, that's crazy. Max has never KO'd anyone. I mean, that's an exaggeration, but Max is very rarely ever finishing anyone. He's going to finish in... He's going to finish Gaethje all of a sudden in his prime. Get interviews with some fighters. I'll get on it. Joe, you remind me of Benoit Saint-Denis. I'll take it as a compliment. I'll take it as a compliment, my friend. Benoit Saint-Denis. I fight like Benoit Saint-Denis, too. Minus the staph infection. Pillow hands. Yeah, Max has no power. I'd be shocked if he pulls it off. I mean, he could. But very doubtful. I think Justin Gaethje is a nightmare matchup for him. I don't get why people are picking Max because they like Max. That's it. There's no reason to pick Max. This is... I mean, MMA, anything can happen. I'd be shocked. I'm so worried for Oliver. I think Oliver loses, man. Max versus Cater proves he doesn't hit hard. Yeah. If you pick Max, you have to pick him by decision. You can't pick him by finish. Did you pick Rackage over Yuri? I did. Is it bad that I'm picking Alex to win? I think he knocks him out. Why would it be bad that you're picking him? It's up to you. What's up, Joey? What's up? L picks, Joey. Hey, just because you disagree with him don't mean they're L. We'll see, man. We'll see. Maybe maybe Saturday's my... I would love nothing more than get a clean sweep on Saturday. No, they're, I mean, these are some of the toughest fights to pick. But I would love to get a clean sweep. I would love to get a clean sweep. Imagine if I get a clean sweep. That'd be craziness. Will Max ever touch gold again? I'm going to say no. Unless it's interim, interim gold. Win picks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The only heavy other dog I'm picking this card is Cody. I thought I, I flirted with the idea of picking Cody, but then I said, nah. You don't see Max winning. He got knocked down by an older TKZ. He didn't get knocked down, but he got touched. So imagine what Gagey would do to him if he gets a clean punch. Agreed. Yo, what's up, Joey? What's up? Um, Justin will take punch three to get one, and maybe he will get rocked. Yeah, even if he outlands him three to one, Jay Gagey still wins. Hey, Brokies, watch 300 at the movie theaters, only 20 bucks. I'm not going to. I'm going to order it. Will Donald Trump show at 300? Maybe. Getting a clean sweep on 300 would be insane. I know. 
I would absolutely love that. You know how long I would brag about that for? If I got a clean sweep on 300, you know how long I'd brag about that? I'd be talking about that for literal years. I'd be talking about that for literal years. I mean, would I ever, I would never let that go. I'd be like, imagine the glorious full card post fight. I would start it off by... Just me enjoying this full card post fight after a clean sweep. 13 out of 13 picks, correct? Just rip my shirt off Hulk Hogan style. So, yeah. It's crazy seeing you pick Armin and he's the dog and he's a dog. You picked Oliveira's last five fights. I've never picked against Oliveira in the history of the channel. I would love to see you finally catch a W, Joey, but it definitely won't be this week. Okay. What fights are you most looking forward to? Number one, Charles Oliveira, Armin Saryuki, and number two, Jamal Hill, Alex Pereira. Number three, Yuri Prohaska, Alexander Rockage. I think Yuri wins by stoppage. What did you think of Kayla today by that has anything made you think she still isn't making weight? I haven't seen anything but some pictures, and she looks in good shape, so hopefully she makes weight. So, I, But I haven't seen anything. I've been busy all day. I literally just got home not that long ago, and then boom. I, I uploaded that video, made a thumbnail, and yeah. Movie theater, fun atmosphere. I've never watched a, a, a fight at the movie theater. I'm sure you were betting money this weekend. I'm not. Maybe I will, though. Did you pick Olives over Ferguson? Yes. Yes, I did. I checked that there was no card after 300. I was breathing a sigh of relief for you, dude. I'm so happy. That the, I wish there was a no card before 300, and I wish there was no card after 300. Because... Post 300, that's where I swear I pick up most of my subscribers after an event, not before an event. I've slowed down on subscribers. I've been getting decent views, but slowed down on subscribers. And then after event is when it really when I have a lot of good topics to cover. You know? So, hopefully. I mean, that, how crazy is it? So, in 24 hours, it'll be Thursday night. 40, 72 hours. It'll be Saturday night, boys. So... Where's Holloway Gaethje the fuck? What do you mean? Did you see Roadhouse yet? No, I have not. Put that on merch. Clean sweep. 13 out of 13. Mr. Perfect. When do you think Strickland fights Costa? I thought it was if it was going to happen, it was going to happen at 301 in Brazil. If you didn't have those three days sick, you would have made it to 20K. I know. But it is what it is. We'll make it. I mean, in the next two weeks, we'll get there. That's 500 subs. We can do that. There's boom and bust. I don't understand why all of a sudden it's on a downslope. Um, maybe just because the oversaturation of content. But post UFC 300, I think we'll be picking up some crazy numbers. I spar three times a week. Action packed. Mar Morcano, Turner, a banger crosswords fight. Loser takes a massive step back. Agreed. Agreed. I was training with Mackenzie Dern in Brazil. She got me mounted triangle and I wouldn't tap. She kept squeezing and squeezing. My head almost went inside. Cool. Strickland versus Costa. Who do you got? I want to say Strickland. I think Strickland overall is the better fighter. But Strickland does no damage, man. I, I could see Costa pulling her out. I'll say early prediction Strickland by decision. But... I mean, Costa was landing on Whitaker, but Whitaker's got a funkier style. Strickland's just so tr tricky to figure out. Connor's walking around in Roadhouse like he's 6'5", 300. Doesn't shock me. Did you see Strickland's tweet confirming he's down to fight? I like Strickland Costa. I like that fight. Better boxer just giving it, giving it up for Strickland's boys. How the F do I have an ad right now? I have no clue. Now Strickland will jab Costa's face up. Costa's going to look messed up by the end of the fight. We'll see. I hope it's five rounds. If you didn't know this sport, just looking at physique face, I, dude, I have no idea. I couldn't examine their bodies and pick. Casa's busy. That could be a problem for Strickland. Yeah, Strickland doesn't throw a whole lot. And also, Paul Costa's a pressure fighter. Jarrett Kinnear won by chugging forward. Drikas Duplessis won by chugging forward. I might go Costa in that one. Does Strickland, does Costa Strickland main event 302? Doubtful. Imagine they put an interim title on the line somehow. I know that makes no sense. 
Did you see Connor Chandler's rumor to be announced tomorrow? We'll see. I've heard about that, but that's just fans speculating. Strickland Costa needs to be five rounds, no doubt. What's next for Alex Hernandez? Retirement, hopefully. How old are you? Wouldn't you like to know? I'm 18. Strickland in the top five is in the top five most boring fighters in the roster. So thank God it's first Costa. That's true. How would you fare up against Chris Barnett in your personal opinion? I would absolutely maul him. I ask because I picked Shanna Dobson to beat Agapa Agapova. Um, back in the day, based on physique, and she was plus 1,500. That's crazy, bro. What's the biggest bet you're placing for three? I'm not a better. I'm not a better. Do you think UFC should be should do Rebetsky versus Favola now that Joel Alvarez pulled out? Sure, I like that idea. Is Connor really starring in Popeye? I have no idea. I have no idea. I think you just made that up though. Thoughts on you watching 300 from a hot tub with the boys? Sounds much better. Sounds much better. Praying Brundage KO's bow in the first. Yeah, that'd be fucking hilarious. Bob Batista bomb. What would be the most shocking thing to happen at 300? Alex Pereira just mauls Jamal Hill with the grappling. Or Max Holloway brutally KOs Justin Gaethje in the first round. Connor can't act? Yeah. Now I saw a trailer. Do you stream or buy pay-per-views? I buy the pay-per-views. Brondage via spinning wheel kick. Who do you think would be the best and worst Signer? I don't know what you mean. Connor's playing Michael Cordone in the Godfire remake. He's acting in Popeye. Did not know that. I saw the trailer for Popeye with Connor McGregor. Did not know that. Did not know that at all. So. Watch Alex get that guillotine. Yeah, he he had no, he didn't almost get it. Most shocking Moicano getting his first KO win. Has he never gotten a KO? I remember I was on vacation watching Jose Aldo beat him up. I was on vacation in my hotel room. Could you see Cody KO and Figgy? I think it's possible. I flirted. I flirted with the idea of picking uh Cody over Figgy. But I just think Cody's, he looked good against bums. How could I pick him? How could I pick him? Looked good against literal bums. So I was like, eh, eh. <laughs> but it is what it is. Cody has that one hitter quitter. Yeah, but he spams it and he's predictable. We'll see. Imagine buying a $150 UFC 300 jacket. Imagine buying 150. Joe, what do you think we'll reveal at tomorrow's press conference? I don't know if they will reveal anything. Everyone always hypes up these so-called announcements. And they never happen. They're like, oh, UFC 300 is going to get announced at the post at, during the car. UFC 300 is going to get announced during the press conference. UFC 300 is going to get announced here, going to get announced there, and it never happens. So... Who is the safest fighter to bet on 300? I can't answer that. I have no idea. Why do fighters blow Donald Trump after they win their fights? I don't know that. I mean, Colby does. That's about it. But he blows him before the fight, during the fight, when he's off and not fighting. How long is the press conference going to be tomorrow? I think like 30 minutes max. So, Joe, you're right. The 300 poster is garbage. It's an embarrassment. I think they're finally doing proud, pride style gloves. Yeah, they'll probably announce the the prime gloves. Let's go to UFC. How do I U look up the UFC shop? Here we go. Click there. I'm trying to see these uh, gloves. Who would buy these fight shorts? Is what I want to know. 
they got a UFC 300 hoodie, UFC 300 cap, UFC 300 hoodie, UFC. They got mad shit. Who would buy this shit, though? Imagine buying unrivaled greatness. I'm going to buy this UFC 300 tumbler. I wonder how much this shit is selling. I wonder how much of this shit is actually selling. Imagine going to the UFC shop.com and ordering a pair of the rock shoes. Imagine ordering this Peloton pillow. That's wild. Remember when we thought the 300 main event was going to be announced during the Super Bowl? I Hey, speak for yourself. I told you guys that shit wasn't happening. Joe, if the canvas is yellow, are you ending the stream set? I'm not even starting to stream if it's yellow. Everyone getting hyped over a custom shorts, who gives a fuck? I mean, I like it a little bit different. I'm not hyped over it, but I, I like it. I think it's worth mentioning that I like a little bit of... You know, sometimes you get, you get tired of seeing the same shit over and over again. So I like that they're developing some uh, personalized touches to the shorts. But I'm not, like, hyped over it. Will we get more lawsuit news in 30 days? I don't know. The fighters aren't allowed to talk about everything yet. I have no idea what's going on right now. Joe, you like the Cowboy South Portrait or what? I, I, I thought it would look great in my living room, to be honest. I was ready to put out a bid for it. Imagine we get a first ever surprise fight added to the card. I'd shit myself. That'd be wild. Imagine that, Imagine Conor McGregor Michael Chandler happens at UFC 300 as the main event, but we don't know about it until the weigh-ins. They both weigh in, and then they announce it. That shit would leak, though. Yuri should be on the main card. I agreed. My boys wouldn't fit in those UFC shorts. Probably not. I bought the Rockhold shorts. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed. That would be amazing. Imagine how crazy that would be. Out of the 26 fighters, how many do you see not getting a question? I'll say 14. I'll say 14 don't get a question. Do you not know what settlement means? Who said I, who said I don't know what settlement means? Still, all the information of the settlement hasn't come out, dipshit. So, I don't know who you're trying to get at, like a pussy. Joe, would you close your channel if you didn't get one new sub ever again? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Probably not. As long as I was getting views, I don't care. I don't know. That'd be a weird, that's a weird question to even think of. Is Jim Miller a Hall of Famer? Dude, I, I don't give a fuck about the UFC Hall of Fame. It means absolutely nothing. It's literally a dumbass hallway in the UFC Apex or UFC PI or some shit. I don't even know. UFC offices, I think, actually. Ray, thank you for the $5 super chat. Joey, I figured out why I stopped watching MMA Guru. All his dumb impressions and jokes, terrible, not funny at all, in my opinion. I haven't seen him, so I'm, I'm happy you're watching, man. I'm happy you're watching. appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed the channel. Like the stream. Yes. like the sh If you guys could like the stream, I'd really appreciate it. Joe, I'm always here, bro. I have been for a while. I'm glad to see you be here for a while and return after a mysterious disappearance. Was Strickland versus Costa announced? No, but Strickland alluded to that he's signing on to fight. It has to be longer than 30 minutes with every fighter on stage. I doubt it. I doubt it. A mystery fighter on the UFC card would be sick. Maybe two WWE like that would be fun. I think a mystery fight would be cool if it announced the day before. He has great impressions. Okay. I've heard that before. The Hall of Fame is ha hallway to the restroom in the Apex. Basically, what more new news could come from it? Uh, the details of the settlement, you dipshit. Um, has funny impressions. Okay, cool. Hey, Joe, if your channel's worthless, would you still make videos? Yes. You think I make a fucking killing off of this? Absolutely not. Joe, I watched your entire picks video for 300 and I have to say I agree. Thank you. That's, that's a really good in-depth response. Early Strickland Costa prediction. I lean Strickland, but then I lean Costa. I lean Strickland and I lean Costa. Right now, I'll say early prediction Strickland by decision, but Costa loves to pressure forward and won't care about Strickland returning fire. I got to be honest. I think Costa could beat DDP. I got to be honest. Let me know in, let me know in chat. I know this sounds crazy. Who would you pick, Costa or Drinkis Duplessis? As crazy as it sounds, I think I might pick Costa. He's more technical. He's not as powerful. But he'll march forward. 
and throw nasty volume. So, Strickland has no knockout power. DDP, close, DDP. Okay. McGregor versus Chandler, Strickland versus Costa, and Ian Gary versus Colby Covington will be International Fight Week. My prediction, new sub. Thank you, Darren. I hope that happens. That's awesome. I, I could literally see my pick myself picking Costa. To what to what point do you take your predictions? For example, Guru's picking Holloway mostly because of his combinations and Gaethje throwing only two punches to that detail. What do you mean to what point do I take my predictions? I think about how both guys fight. I I, <clears throat> I can't imagine picking Holloway. There's no way in this I couldn't convince myself to pick Holloway in no way, shape, or form, no matter what. Because of his combinations, he's going to be getting clipped up. He's getting clipped up by the Korean zombie. What do you think Gaethje's going to do to him? I would say I'm 80% confident, 85, maybe even 90% confident Gaethje beats Holloway. If if Holloway wins, I'd be absolutely shocked. I think Gaethje's going to bust him up bad. Who hits a spinner Rooney at 300? I'll say Jamal Hill, but he survives afterwards. DDP... I'm going to get my, my bookie sponsor. hope you enjoy it. DDP is undefeated in the UFC. Costa lost to Vittori. I know. I know. Costa, I think he won't be bullied. I see your argument. Thank you. Thoughts on Cody knocking out Figgy in the first round? Just got back from using my time machine. Unlikely, but possible. DDP more stamina? Eh, probably. Whitaker or DDP in a rematch? DDP. I think Jarrett beats DDP, to be honest. Dude, Jarrett is a nightmare matchup for DDP, I think. Nasty power, won't be bullied, good stamina, good everywhere. I think Bumdage has a real chance. We'll see. For example, what would you would you see you're picking a fight just because you see a fighter doing a specific sequence? I'm not even sure what that means. Like I see I foresee one specific sequence. No. I just look at all their overall skills. I look at their overall resume. I look at their overall fight performances. I think about how they match up against each other, weaknesses and strengths. And then I make a pick. Max Holloway gets tagged on the chin by every single fighter he fights. Even the bumps. Even the dead corpses, the Korean zombie. He also absorbs leg kicks nonstop. Justin Gaethje has nasty power, nasty hands in general. And on top of that, has nasty leg kicks. So... For me, it's an easy pick. I, I think Holloway only wins if he wins somehow via decision and just doesn't get touched. And I don't see that happening. Are you getting wing stop for 300? Absolutely, positively not. My fear is Max getting hit a lot but not quitting and it turning into a sad beat down. Yeah, and one of those Tony Ferguson shakes their head. Courtney Cortez and I were in the same high school. I used to do coke. Oh, okay, congrats. I don't know who that is, though. I don't know who that is. Gaethje couldn't drop Chandler. He literally dropped Chandler and almost finished Chandler. You're a dumb fuck. Second round, uppercut. I think he might have dropped him multiple times. If I'm not mistaken. So. Gaethje, um, Steven Seagal, thank you for the $5 donation. It's crazy how the UFC 300 poster is a picture of Dana's yellow bath towel. Dude, I know. I know. Like, what the fuck are we doing? That's the ugly... I refuse to believe that was the official poster. Why did they think that was good? Why did they think that was good at all? I don't get it. It's Dana's, it's Dana's yellow bath towel. Enigma, thank you for the $2 donation. UFC 300 robbery of the night prediction. I'm going to say Damn, I don't know. I'll say Aljamain Sterling Sterling Calvin Cater. Somehow it'll be close and it'll be a controversial decision, but I don't know, man. I hope for no robberies. Dog shit poster. Are you planning on making another Hill violence video? I really should, but probably won't have time. But maybe tomorrow. You ever scared of running into MMA fighters? Why would I be scared? That's a good pick, Joey. Thank you. Thank you. If it goes to the decision, they'll give it to Alex. That'll be robbery tonight. Home Harrison. I could see that. Wait, Joe, do you think of the new shorts? Holloway's version is pretty sick. I think it's cool. 
I think I think the shorts are pretty cool. Um, three hundred is a great card, but it sacrifices how ass the rest of the cards are going to be for a while. I know, bro. I know it hurts my soul. The next few, I it, it really it really uh, bums me out. We were talking about that at the beginning of the stream. Cause you talk shit. Nah, I'm not worried about any. What are they gonna kill me? What are they gonna beat me up? Yeah, right. It'll be MMA fan murders MMA fighter that tries to attack him out in public. Brutally shocks him to the ground. I'm picking Aljo by decision for that reason. Fair enough. I'll just have to go outside on Saturday night as well. What do you mean? You'll have to go outside. Joey, how confident are you in Cater wins? I'll say 65%. I don't trust the knee injury, returning from the knee injury. If you notice, I only picked one fighter coming off an injury. So, yeah. Am I the only one tired of seeing Nina drama? I don't think you are. Who would win, Armin or Gaethje? Probably Armin. What do you think of Chris Weidman calling you out? Did Chris Weidman call me out or are you fucking with me? I think that'd be hilarious because dude's a bitch and a pussy. And is a cheater and then fucking blames his opponent. So I wish he would call me out so I could absolutely bitch him. I'd get him on stream and bitch the shit out of him. So, dude's a cheater. Dude's a cheater. He's not still my boy. I was rooting for him. I think he's a scumbag. I wish he would call me out. Have you ever been live to a UFC event? I've been multiple live UFC events. Joey with a power drive. Next card might be okay. Some guys do a quick turnaround. Yeah, maybe. I'm going back and forth on Armin Charles. Just go with Armin, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Wyman look great. Wyman look like ass. Wyman would beat your ass. I'd poke him in the eyes so fucking hard he would drop to the ground like a pussy. Joey, to be honest, people online have been attacked for next to nothing. Okay. Most recent live event you've been to, Overeem versus Rosenstruck. And then I went a month before that to UFC 244. So, I was Tracy's sister doing Winchester. Okay. I don't even know what all this shit means, so I'm not even going to read it. Who's 302 main event, Joey? I don't know yet. I don't know. Why haven't you been in so long? Because I just haven't. The opportunity hasn't arose. I've been busy. You would just knock on your door. Which experience is better, live or in the comfort of your home? They both have their, their benefits and uh, downsides. I wouldn't want to go to every UFC event, but I like going. I like going here and there. Is he versus Alex if Pereira wins? Sure. No. Is he has to win a fight first? So, Wyman said he would beat you blindfolded. He was losing it. Okay. Where, where do he say this then? Come on. If you're going to keep saying this weird shit, prove it to me. Never pick against Charles, but I might have to. Yeah. Brother, you really want me to send you a video? Send me a video of what? What are you sending me a video of? What was the best live KO you've seen? Probably Gregor Gillespie, Kevin Lee. That was filthy. It was absolutely filthy. You would take Chris Wyman higher to a place where I gouge men see. Exactly. Thoughts on Jamal Hill's chest tattoos? They're embarrassing. Dude said send it in the Discord. The Winchester Hamlet. So yes, let's see the video. What do you think of Ariel Hawani? He's a bitch. I, I don't really think of Ariel Hawani. I don't typically watch his interviews unless it's something really pertinent. Last event I went to was 296, Colby Covington. Yeah, Colby Covington stank up the place. DDP by KL. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see. I think it's 6 p.m. Eastern time. Prelim start. Early prelims, 6 p.m. Eastern. Devison Figueredo versus Cody Garbrandt first. Where is the Discord? I'm done. You got Discord? Become a member. Become a member and you'll get the Discord link. That's the way to get the Discord link. Last event I went to. Okay, read that. If you could only watch one fight this Saturday, would it be Bo versus Bum or Jessica Marina? 
one fight total, it wouldn't be either one of those. But if I could only pick one of those, um, dude, this dude's a weirdo. I don't want to see your video. Um, if I only watch one of those two, I watch Jessica versus Marina. Cody Broad Dave said he's about to KO Bell. Hopefully he does. What about early prelims? 6 p.m. Eastern is the early prelims. Can't believe how low blow Nichols fighting Cody Garbage. I know. DDP has limited skills. Strickland rearrange his face. Maybe. Prime Anderson Silva versus DDP on the ground. Silva would get smashed. I think Anderson will be able to avoid the takedowns and KO. Who to pick, Armin or Charles? Armin. I forget, did you pick Kayla over Holly? I did. I picked her to miss weight too, so hopefully she, I'm wrong on that one. I think Holly Holmes is going to turn down the fight ASAP if she misses weight. Can the UFC still change bout orders? Yes. I wanted to move Bo versus Bum to the first card. Yeah, but they're not going to do that much of a change. I wish they would just make that a prelim. Joey, is Cody Garbrandt's chin fixed? No. I think he still gets cracked. I think he still gets cracked and finished. Who wins Prime McGregor or Ilya Taporia? I'll say Ilya Taporia. Because really crisp boxing, really good grappling as well. I wasn't I was never big I was never big on Prime Connor. I think he was overhyped massively and still is, honestly. Still is honestly. This guy speaks the truth. I swan't swan okay, sweet. I think I like Charles. I think the emotion we're gonna see from him is no other. I think he'll be crying on his walk out. Mark my words. Does that guarantee a win though? I don't think that guarantees a win. So we'll see. I look forward to that fight. It's going to be a heater. That's going to be a straight up heater. I can't believe we're already here. That's wild. Damn. I'm just looking through some of this UFC 300 shit. I'm not really seeing anything crazy. Just jump out to me. I'm looking at like the... Jamal Hill always looks mad. Always looks mad, dude. I swear. Figgy could throw a hard jab and even sleep Cody at any moment, which is wild. That's facts. Doesn't guarantee the win. I heard Strickland was going to go to WWE. I hope he does. You know how there's a meme where people add an OV to the end of fighter's name and when they start wrestling? If there was a striking version of that, who would it be? I don't even know that original one. What's up, Joey? Did you watch 100? No, but I thought about it. I almost did, but I didn't. I watched 200, obviously. I remember I was talking to one of my buddies who was ordering it, and I just had other things to do that night, and I didn't go see it. I wish I would have, though. That's crazy. When was that? 2000... 8, 2009. July 11, 2009. That's wild. I remember thinking about going to watch that. I wish I would have. I was invited, but I didn't. Hill has the worst tattoo in history. Those shirts for Holloway and Alex look lame as fuck. I think it's great. Did you notice UFC has a thousand more merch available on their website since merging with WWE? I have not noticed that. Harrison fighting down 20 pounds. Never has she fought at 135. Her last one is a decision to Aspen Lag. Give me the preacher's daughter for the Hail Mary. Maybe. Maybe. Gym by decision, UFC 100, gym by KO on 200. You think Miller sub could be a smart play? No. I think Jim Miller by KO would be the smart play if he, if he wins. I wouldn't be surprised if Holly wins. Me either. Kayla Harrison could be completely drained. 
But I think most likely she wins with her grappling. So, I think most likely she wins with her grappling. Um, let's see. Dude, I think the Pereira shorts are so corny looking. But I don't care. Dude, I'm hyped for Diego Lopez to fight. Crazy they made John Finch the main event all because they were worried runtime being too long and didn't want people to mix, mix Brock versus Amir. Is that why they made that the main event? I did not know that, actually. Holly's 4.8 underdog. She's worth a shot and sprinkle. I think she could win. Do you think the late stoppage could hurt Bobby Green's career longevity? Yes, but he's already old. She beat Ronda. That she did. Joey, who's more drained this weekend? Kayla Harrison, are you after an eight-hour stream and a two-hour post-fight breakdown? Dude, I'm going to be working on post-fight breakdowns for like four hours. The real question is, who's more drained? Kayla Harrison or me after spending the night in the hot tub watching UFC 300 with Derek? Definitely me. <laughs> Let me stop. Drain. Pause. Um, if I recall, 145 is not a division for women anymore. Yeah, it's basically closed. Kayla won't be around for that long. Diego fight. Maybe, th maybe they're using her to close down the 135 division. Holly can put it on for five rounds. Dude, Holly's regressing massively. So, we'll see. She's going to be drained, though. She's going to be drained. Holly fit in a retire. She needs to, dude. She's so boring now. I mean, she's never been that good, but... I think Kayla makes weight no problem, regardless of what everyone's thinking. Hopefully. Hopefully. I see Armin just keeping the distance, giving him angles against Charles, rushing in and countering him with angles, take down a single leg, keep him against the fence. Yeah, I see Armin offensive wrestling. And what fight have you seen her regress? Every single fight. All she does is clinch now. She used to be just primarily a striker, but she can't keep up anymore. What's her joy? On a flight back home from work, had to, on a flight, you're flying back home from work, had to catch the stream. I'm glad you're catching the stream, my friend. She has one loss to Vieira, and before that last loss was to Amanda. Okay. And she's looked horrible in every single fight. Friday might be the first early morning weigh-in I watch. I might tune in just for the hell of it. So I wouldn't say winning is regressing. You know winning has nothing to do with whether or not you regress or not. You can win every single one and still regress. So. Just because she lost to Vieira, which got overturned to a new contest, by the way. So. Holly Holm has the worst post-fight messages. Yeah, she she talks for too long, for sure. You should fight MMA Guru. I think you'd piece him up. I'd curb stomp him with ease. If I'm 165 pounds out of shape, what weight division can I fight in the UFC? Probably. If you're 165 pounds out of shape, you could probably fight 135. Damn, how short are you if you're if you're out of shape at 165? What do you think would win in a street fight, John Jones or Mike Tyson? John Jones easily would dominate Mike Tyson in a street fight, bro. Easily. Did you see Kayla Harrison recent UFC picks? I'm still not as convinced. So, um, I've seen some, but I don't know which ones you're referring to. I think I've seen Ariel tweet out some or something. But I don't know. She looks huge, but she looks in great shape as well from the ones I saw. I don't know if it's the same ones. I don't know if there's more circulating out there. So I don't know. Keep reading these so I can meme video after she wins. Guru respects you most out of all the streamers, I think. Why do you say that? Um, Bo Nichols still calling out Hamzat. He's delusional. He's never going to fight him. So he's the hold me back guy. Who wins at light heavyweight, Prime Jones or current Pereira? Easy, easy Jones would beat Pereira. Jones would dominate Pereira. Guru versus Joey, UFC 400 main event? Nah. 
Never checked, but I guess 5'10", 5'11", 6 foot. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Get to it, then. Get to cutting. Get to cutting. Why is he in the press conference at 5 p.m.? Live in 18 hours. So 18 hours from now, 12 hours would be 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So is it actually 5 p.m. Eastern then? Yeah, it's Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Holy shit. UFC says 5 p.m. Eastern now. It's 5 p.m. Eastern UFC. Um... Yeah. Okay, I thought it was 8 p.m. Eastern. That's fucking annoying. Uh, bro's reading an imaginary chat. Okay, Guru likes you because you have your own takes and don't give a fuck. Well, the second part and third part is true. I don't know if he likes me because of that or not. Hold me back, son. Yeah, definition. Chandler said he'll be at 300 like he ain't at most cards because bro don't fight anymore. Facts. 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 Manlet, thank you for the two New Zealand dollars. Kayla Harrison, undisputed PED champion, basically. Joe is 18 and has a channel, fiance and house. Yeah, I'm living the life, bro. I got a YouTube channel. I got a house. I got a fiance. I got a dog. I got three cars. Maybe four soon. I got, I got everything a man could want. I got everything a man could want. Jamal Hill was acting like a nervous fan meeting Alex. Dude, it was weird. I didn't like that. I almost wanted to make a video about when I make it about Jamal Hill. Look at the interaction. Jamal Hill, yeah, I, I saw it. And the way he like tossed it off afterwards, dude's trying to make some money. Are you more confident in Hill after seeing his energy and mindset this week? I haven't really paid attention. I haven't really paid attention. I really should have been, but I've been busy all week. I've been busy all week doing shit. My money's on Hill. They're all PED champs, basically. He'll have 100-plus grown men on to listen to you every night. Yeah, exactly. I got 100-plus men to pleasure every single night. Joey, daily reminder, Islam mismanagement video? Maybe. Hill's energy is making me more confident. Are you still making a Jamal Hill video this week? Maybe. But it's just like, what do I even do? I mean, it's alleged. It's alleged. I don't know if he said, did he say anything crazy at media day? If he said anything crazy at media day, I could include that. And then I could include the interaction, dude. It would, he'll see that shit and he'll actually get pissed. But it's just, it's almost, I feel like it's almost unnecessary. But I kind of want to do it because nobody's talking about it. Jamal Hill commits domestic violence. is an alleged domestic violence um, assaulter. And uh, no one's talking about it. We'll be overkill with every fighter at the UFC 300 press conference, 100. percent So, bro is saying he beats Bisbang, but he has the parallel park in the shower. I don't know what you mean? I thought the interaction was respectful but unusual, dude. It was weird the way he walked off. It was weird how he walked off and like handed it off afterwards, like he didn't want that shit. He's gonna sell it for some money. That's what he's hoping for. Joey, it's so it's so funny when you bring up Hills tune-up fight. Nobody brings it up, bro. Nobody brings it up. Hill's going to celebrate after Hill gets KO'd. Yeah, Hill's brother, definitely. Bro, he's gotten in a fight with his brother. Don't be a puss. Dude, he KO'd his brother, knocked his teeth out, allegedly, in front of his wife and kids. I mean, that's pretty shitty. And sucker punched him for not cleaning his house good enough. It's hilarious watching all the predictions from fighters on Hill, Alex, because you can tell UFC media members, etc., are scared of the backlash from Hill if they don't pick him. Dude, that's true. If you pick against him, he cries about it. Must have beat his bro bad from the press charges. Dude knocked his teeth out, sucker punched him in front of his kids, in front of his kids and wife, allegedly. In front of Jamal Hill's kids, in front of his brother's wife. Apparently, they didn't clean the house good enough. 
Hill calling Al- Alex a steward to his throne is very ironic. Joe, I was dying when you kept saying Hill hasn't been inactive because he had a t- tune-up fight recently. Everyone was commenting about that. I just can't believe everyone forgot about it. Did anybody ask him about that at media day? What's going on with those assault charges? Will you root for Poetan because of Hill's tune-up fight? Eh, I won't be sad if Poetan wins, but I want my prediction to be right at the end of the day. Jack Slack mentioned it in his prediction, though he wasn't afraid. What, what do you mean? I doubt anyone will ask Hill about it, hopefully tomorrow. Did you actually assault your brother or no? Hey, uh, Hill, I was wondering if I could have 300 bucks. You think I can clean your hotel room? Media is too scared to ask him that, which is annoying. I mean, even if he says no comment, he should at least be asked about it. Did you knock your brother's teeth out in front of your wife and kids? In front of his wife and your kids? I would love somebody. Imagine. Uh, just a quick question for Jamal Hill. I was wondering, is it true that on Thanksgiving, you knocked your brother's teeth out in front of his wife and in front of your young children? You shucked him to the ground and then flash KO'd him and then he was stretchered out of the house with no serious injuries and the house was not clean. So, hey Alex, how excited are you to fight every MMA reporter? Yeah, basically. Basically. That's the last press conference you will ask a question. Dude, Hill would be pissed. Imagine how salty he would be. And you could just answer, no comment. I don't have any comment on that right now at this time. I don't have any comment at this point in time. I'm going to let the legal system play out. And uh, I look forward to being exonerated. His brother was a tune-up fight? Yeah. You saw he was genuinely tweaking on Ariel, threatening Ariel. His brother didn't pass the salt in time. Hill needed it badly. No comment, a valid response. I never said that it wasn't. How's the house going to be cleaned if there's teeth all over the floor? That's that's facts. I really should make a video, but I don't know what I would title it. Jamal Hill doesn't deserve to headline UFC 300. That would be a banger title. Jamal Hill doesn't deserve to headline UFC 300. (laughs) Imagine I put his mugshot as the thumbnail. That'd be hilarious. Hey, Daniel, are we having fights this weekend at, at a place? How's life, brother? Basically, you can combine Ankle Live taken there, too. Thumbnail should be his brother photoshopped as Johnny Walker, basically. Bro, like 10 dorks have already made that exact video. I don't think so. Put some teeth in the thumbnail. Has there been a vid that you knew would get mad views? Yeah, I knew the Conor McGregor tweaking video would get mad views, and I was the first one to get, it, get on that shit. I knew the Conor McGregor... Uh, Edit from the MMA Hour would get mad views as well. I had no idea Conor McGregor exposes Dana White's lies during movie media tour. I had no idea that would do 110K. Um, There's quite a few that I didn't realize would do so well, but they did. So, mugshot on your t-shirt. Make Connor fight Max after Saturday. You know Chandler would wait. He would. You have to watch Roadhouse. I'm not going to. Joe, you wearing the mugshot shirt on Saturday? Probably not. Just think it looks petty. I've already worn it enough. You know what I mean? I've already worn it enough. And I just feel like it it, it, it uh just makes me look incredibly biased. If there's a close decision, the last thing I want to say is, oh, Pereira got robbed. And I'm wearing a Jamal Hill mugshot t-shirt. You know what I mean? I've wore it a couple times already. 
It would be funny. Maybe I'll break it out in the future. I think he wins. So. Hundred ten K people have one dude on their mind. Do you think do I think banning Ariel cause the UFC cause he's caused the UFC calls today's UFC media? Do they ban people before Ariel as well? Manlet, thank you for the two New Zealand dollars. Costa beat Strickland, title shot two, three in the last five. That would be crazy. Bro, you gotta wear it for three hundred the fuck? Probably not. I probably won't. Honestly, I can see Costa beating DDP. It's open season at 185. I agree. What if Hill mentions you in your post fight interview with Rogan? I'd be like, oh, fuck him. I don't know. I would fucking die laughing. I mean, what, 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 what do you want me to do? I'm not going to I'm not gonna melt because an alleged domestic violence um, perpetrate, perpetrator calls me out. That'd be crazy, though. Does Cody Bumbage even land a single strike? I'm going to say no. The champ gear on 300. Usman, the next champion at 185. Would you fight Hill? Yeah, I'd step in there and fight him. As long as it's for the title. As long as it's for the... I make him look like Johnny Walker. I make him look like his brother. So. Yeah. If Costa gets the Strickland fight, that'd be ridiculous. That's going to happen. Are you streaming the press conference? Most likely, yes. But I just realized it's not at 8 p.m. It's at 5 p.m. Eastern. Who wins between Jan and Roundtree? Probably Jan, but Jan's getting old, so I don't know. That Johnny Walker knockout was legendary. Who's butt cracked? UBC at 300. There's no heavyweight, so I don't say none. By the way, Jamal Hill, just from his face, he looks like he's in good shape. He looks like he's in good shape. Yeah, but that Johnny Walker knockout was brutal. So, Strickland tweeted that it's been made for the Brazil card. Did he actually specify the Brazil card, though? I didn't know he said he actually specified the Brazil card. That's crazy. Bro, why does Johnny Walker flop? If I make the Jamal Hill video you guys are requesting, what do you want me to include in it? I'll include his threats to Ariel Hawani. Maybe something from his pre-fight uh, media day. I'm sure there's something in there of him being a bitch. His domestic violence accusations. The way he treated one of his fans on Twitter. What else? What else should I include in there? If I make it, what else should I include in there? Pat Matthews, thank you for the 99 cents. What would the title of the video be? It's probably Jamal Hill doesn't deserve to main event UFC 300. The video is more of a hit piece to make me laugh. I mean, but it's but I'm going to be speaking facts, though. To be honest, if you're under investigation for domestic violence, and the, the, the police report is so reprehensible, in my opinion, you shouldn't be headlining. So... This casual racism towards white people. Where is that at? I haven't seen that. Joey, guess where I'm at? On the toilet, I'm thinking. How's it going, Joey? Now, I want I want a donation for that prediction, Pat. Um, it's going good, Congressman. Alex versus Magomedov. If Alex wins, that's the next fight to make for sure. I don't know how Costa's getting that treatment because he's a fun fighter to watch. A la John Jones. Liar dude is mad racist. I haven't seen it, so tell me when. Bo Nickel will finish Bumdage in 20 seconds. I think Hill submits Pereira and home knocks out Harrison. Whitaker's reward for beating Costa is 11. Chemayev and Costa's reward for losing to Whitaker's number one ranked Strickland. Yeah, but... Um, to be honest, I think uh, Whitaker beating Chemayev will, will do a lot for him, to be honest. He wouldn't be headlining if it weren't for poor scheduling and matchmaking by the UFC. That's all they had left, and it's their own damn fault. That's true. That's true. Costa shouldn't fight Brendan Allen. Should fight Brendan Allen. I'd like to see that. 
Dude, I like the Costa Strickland fight. Have they officially said DDP versus Izzy is next? No, but it's definitely going to happen. If Chris Curtis would go, could God forbid make 170, how would he do? Honestly, I think he is better off at 185. Because there's so many good strikers at 170. Who beats Hamzat Shamaya? I'm going to say nobody. I'm going to say Hamzat beats DDP. To be honest, I here's what I want to happen. And this is just for my... Sorry, I'm itching my leg. This is for my own personal preferences. I want Hamzat to maul Hamzat... I want Hamzat to maul Robert Whitaker at Saudi Arabia card. And I want Adesanya to sleep DDP in the first round. I know people are going to be mad about that. To set up Adesanya versus Hamzat. I've always wanted to see that fight. But either way, even if Adesanya loses the DDP, I still want Hamzat to win. I want to see him fight for a title. Hamzat beats DDP in a three-rounder. Dude, I mean, do, do we forget that Derek Brunson was easily ragdolling DDP? Can we talk about the first time I picked DDP? Was against... Um, was in the title fight, basically. First time I picked him in a notable fight. Trickus versus Hamzat is so much cooler than Hamzat Adesanya. I disagree. What fight would you guys rather see? Adesanya versus Hamzat or DDP versus Hamzat? Let me know in chat. Adesanya Hamzat or DDP Hamzat? Put it your answer in chat right this second. Everybody. I got Costa by Nasty KO against Strickland. I will laugh my ass off. Joey, can you see on Tapology how many people pick DDP over Whitaker? I gotta do fucking everything around here, bro. Fuck. Eighty five percent pick Whitaker. DDP Hamzat, Adesanya Hamzat, Izzy DDP. That wasn't a question. Adesanya, DDP Brendan Allen, Izzy Hamzat, DDP Hamzat, DDP Hamzat, Izzy Hamzat. Izzy Hamzat, Izzy Hamzat, DDP Hamzat, Izzy Hamzat, Izzy DDP for sure. That's not what I asked. Jeez, you can't even fucking read. You can't even listen, Derek. I said DDP Hamzat or Izzy Hamzat. Which would you rather see? Honestly, stylistic, I've always wanted to see Hamzat, Jarek, and here. It would be interesting. Izzy, the post-fight beef and name-calling was lit. Remember when Dana showed up to the press fight pre- post fight presser with his fly open? I do remember that. Easiest top ten middleweight to to Bo Amavov or Delizze. Delizze. Delizze is the easiest top ten. I'm shocked he's even still in the top ten to be honest. Oh my bad, I'd like either one. Yeah, I like either one. I'm just saying I really want to see Izzy versus Chemayev at some point. Joey turning into an NPC. Yeah, your mother was an NPC last night. How do you see Izzy Hamzat going? I don't know. I don't know. Probably Izzy barely winning by squeaking out the championship rounds. I think Izzy will retire if he beats DDP. That's one of the many reasons why I want DDP to win. Can you imagine he just beats DDP and retires? I never even thought of that possibility. Guys, do me a favor. Like the stream. I mean, how do we got 150 in here? We got 40, 52 likes. Can you guys like the stream? It takes one second to scroll down and hit the thumbs up button. One second. Is Colby a Hall of Famer? No. Dude has literally the worst resume in the UFC. People forget Izzy's almost 36. 36 of an age where time go. Where's the time go? I know. I remember telling one of my buddies who like barely watches MMA. Um, but watches occasionally that Izzy was a really good prospect up and coming. Imagine robbery finds a KO, dude. The place will be, Robert finds a KO. The place will be silent. That's crazy. Hamzat is the most overrated fighter in the UFC. I think he's one of the most underrated, dude. No one actually. Everyone says, "Oh, he's not good." He went to war with Gilbert Burns, dude. What he did to Usman was crazy. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. I think his win. I think Hamzat's win over Usman was more impressive than Sean Strickland's win over Drunk Driver Israel Adesanya. And that's just my opinion. Just my opinion. You know, someone will probably clip that 
clip that with uh, no context. My favorite Chandler moment is when he busted out the calculator to justify his six-month training camp. Yeah, he's like, well, two months from now is four months from June 6th. That's probably one of the worst takes I've ever heard. Dude, Izzy didn't take that fight seriously. I'm not kidding. I heard that from a reliable source. Why would I make that up? When have I ever made anything up? A reliable, reliable source. Moicano by any means gets the wins and pulls off the best post-fight speech. I don't think he beats Jalen Turner. Everyone says that Hamzat does not have the strength the last five rounds, but I see Hamzat explodes and drains his energy. Yeah, he have to fight a little bit different. Reliable source, a.k.a. Chris Curtis. How would that make any sense? Yeah, he's definitely in Israel Adesanya's camp. I'm going to have to go back and watch. I know Hamzat ragdolled him in the first, but I don't remember the other two rounds. The other two rounds were close, but the first round, Hamzat absolutely ragdolled him. Ragdolling Usman is the craziest, one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Joe, what's your best prediction outside of Izzy versus Alex? I picked Nate Diaz to beat Conor McGregor in the first fight. I picked Holly Holm to beat Ronda, but it was kind of a mean prediction. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Charles Oliveira to beat Benil was pretty good. John Jones to beat Cyril Gaon off a long layoff was pretty good. I'm sure there's other ones that I don't remember. I picked Bisbang to beat Luke Rockhold in the rematch for the title. How hilarious would it be if Cody Brundage, Cody Bumdage, fraud check Bo Nickel? It'd be hilarious. Hey, Hamza is definitely not surrounding himself with the right people. That's probably the only reason he's not quite where he's supposed to be. Joey just turned into Colby Covington disrespecting the dead. What are you talking about? I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what that means. But alright. Whatever you whatever you like. Whatever you like, my friend. Oh shit, you picked Bisbang? Shit, I would have never. I was so confident. Gambling wasn't even legal in my state. I found a way to gamble on Michael Bisbang to win. By KO. I bet I have the picture of the betting slip somewhere. But I fucked up. One of my buddies, I convinced two of my buddies to go in. I was like, dude, I'm telling you, Bisbang's going to win this fight. And I convinced two of my buddies to go in, and one of them convinced me. Oh, let's parlay it. Let's parlay it. I think it was Uriah Faber to win against Dominic Cruz. I said, fuck it. Let's do it. And uh, it was a dumb decision. It wasn't my idea. I got convinced. And when I watched Bisbang chin him, I said, you motherfucker. You fucked me. And I remember my other buddy who doesn't really bet or anything, who went in on it too, um, didn't realize a parlay meant we didn't get paid shit. And uh, was like, how much did we just win? He texted me immediately. How much did we just win? Robert Whitaker still calls Hamzat Kazmat. That shit's funny. You really taking Jamal? I am. I don't just make up shit. I didn't think Faber beats Cruz, but I thought it was I thought it was possible. And so I said, fuck it, let's let's parlay it. It looked good, man. The guy was telling me the odds and it looked good. But I should have just stuck with Bisbang by KO. It would have been one of the most legendary stories ever. Yeah, I bet on Bisbang by KO to win the title and win a bunch of money. I think we all put up 150. One of my buddies, um, this is, I never bet before that bet. That was the first bet I ever placed. My other buddy that I'm talking about who uh, was in on it. There was two other buddies, but the one who did bet. I uh, convinced him to bet on Misha Tate to beat Holly Holm. And he bet on Misha Tate to beat Holly Holm. And then on that very same card, he bet on Nate Diaz to beat Conor McGregor. I convinced him. I said, dude, Nate's going to win this fight. I'm telling you, if you ever want to bet, you ever want a big win, bet won Nate Diaz to win against Conor McGregor and he fucking bet everything that he won on the Misha Tate fight bet it on, on Nate Diaz to beat Conor and uh yeah it was crazy won a shit ton of money I think he won over a thousand something like that and he didn't bet that much I still remember when you were close to Jones inside two minutes yeah I for those of you who don't know I bet on John Jones to beat Cyril Ghan inside two minutes and fuck I was like five seconds off that would have been a sick win. Curtis Blades and Chris Curtis and the top first the Tafa brothers who wins. 
The Taffer brothers are literally garbage, so I think Curtis Blades could beat them both by taking them down. What's next for Dan Hooker? Benoit saint maybe Dustin Poirier rematch? Two sec was it only two seconds off? That's fucking crazy. Who wins Manel Torres or Drew Dober? Drew Dober. Joe, you think the UFC matches up Patty Pimlet against RDA next? No, they're still gonna baby Patty Pimlet. Bro, how the fuck do you think Jones was going to win in two minutes? Dude, I just thought it was possible, so I said, let me bet a little bit of money on it. That's it. I, I, dude, I was I, I was confident in my Jones prediction, and I got a lot of shit for it. Who remembers that? Who was here for them live streams? I was just being fucking harassed. and fuck, It was like a siege in the chat of, Joey, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. How could you pick Jones? You're such a fucking dumbass. All day, every day, every fucking stream for a week straight after I picked Jones. And I said, I'm confident. I said, Jones always rises to the occasion. And every single fucking day, I had these Jones haters in my chat. And I was getting harassed daily. And boy, did they disappear. Boy, did they. Who remembers that? I know some people in the chat got to remember that. By the way, thank you, Manlet, for the two New Zealand dollars. I appreciate you very much. How do you feel about Strickland Costa? I like the matchup. I like the matchup. How do you feel about Islam versus Diamond? I don't think it's going to happen. I hope it doesn't happen. UFC 300 is very hyped, but will it out to 290? Yes. Gone was supposed to be the future. I'm leaning a lot more Oliveira, bro. I feel Armin can make a massive mistake on the ground and lead to... In the least, I expect Oliveira's using submission. I don't think so. But it's possible. It's possible. Oliveira, if Oliveira pulls it off, he pulls it off via sub, probably. But, I mean, Oliveira's a finisher, so he can get it done anyway. Way lead by sub is at plus 500. I'm still tempting the shit out of me. Do it. Why ignore my comments? I haven't seen your comments. I remember Jackson was sucking gone like crazy. That is facts. Do you think it would make Islam wait? Well, yes, they wait to see what happens this weekend for sure. They have to. Joe, do you think Tom Aspinall has the talent to be better than Stipe? It's... Dude, I feel like Tom Aspinall is now one of the most overrated fighters in the UFC. It's crazy. People are sucking him off off of one performance ever. Dude has no good wins ever up until a short notice Sergey Pavlovich. And now everyone acting like he's already the greatest of all time. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. That's an unpopular opinion that I have that Tom Aspinall is overrated as fuck. And I, I, I'm i high on him. But people are acting like he's proven himself. One win on short notice at heavyweight, a KO win. Joe, do you think Tom Aspinall has the... Te okay, but yes, I do think he could have the talent to be better than Stipe. To answer your question, yes, I do. But I still think he's overrated. Who you got, Tapori or O'Malley? Tapori would absolutely ragdoll and brutalize O'Malley. Probably break his leg in half and he'd cry about it for the next three years. Honestly. So. We shall see. Exactly, Tom hasn't proven that's all. Honestly, it's not hard to become heavyweight goat. It's probably the worst. It is the worst division. It is the the heavyweight division is the worst division in the UFC. Joe, who do you think headlines three hundred two? Probably Islam. Is Jamal Hill close to being the best light heavyweight of all time? No, absolutely not. Not even close. I think O'Malley pieces up Marab, and I'm not an O'Malley supporter. What are your thoughts? If it stays standing, he definitely pieces up Marab. But I think Marab is going to dump him on his fucking head and control him and ragdoll him against the fence. And O'Malley's going to get up and get taken right back down until he's completely gassed out. If Steve beats Jones, DC, Ngannou, and Jones on your resume. That's crazy. That is a crazy uh, resume if he does get that done. If no one is ready, they will give it to Dustin. But if Gaethje wins and he said he won't fight in June, I doubt Oliveira fight takes short notice. Only Armin if he wins. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to say Islam Armin in June, and I like it. Looking forward to more fight announcements. I'm always looking forward to fight announcements. If Jamal Hill K is Alex and is Magomed, it's a strong point, to be honest. No. People underestimate Jones's resume because they weren't watching then. Jones's resume is going to be tough to fucking overcome. Did you give Hamza a 10-8 in round one? Yes. 
when I went rewatched it because I lost power in the middle of that. Oh my god, I was fucking pissed. You guys want to hear a story? I was recording a video at 4 a.m. the other morning, and it was about 12 minutes in. It was about going to be about 15, maybe 16 minute video, and my power randomly flashed off, and I lost a video. I was pissed. I was just about to go to, and I was pissed. I was just about to be done. I recorded two videos last night. I recorded two videos last night. I, then I restarted. I recorded. I took my dog on a walk. And I was like, damn. I'm just a bad motherfucker. UFC. I hope the mat is yellow like 200. Shut up. No one knows Gamrot, bro. Unfortunately, even Gamrot said he needs one more fight. Colby should be on 300. Crazy that Dustin is talking more about a title shot when Gamrot is on a three-fight win streak and has a win over number one contender. I'm picking Armin to beat Olives. Fair enough. I had $1 on my account from before, so I threw it on a parlay. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Joe, do you write scripts? No, I do not. All off the top of my head. Thoughts on possible new UFC gloves? Doubt it. It's probably some bullshit branding or color. Do you think Moreno could be a flyweight champion again? I do. Where's UFC casual? I don't know what you mean. Does Brundage have a better chance of catching Bo than Woodburn? Probably not. Dude, I will laugh my ass off if Brundage wins. Imagine that's like my one wrong pick. I would laugh my literal ass off. If somehow, some way, Brundage just slept Bo Nickel out cold. Joe, how do you think they're going to do the pre-fight press conference with all the fighters? It's, half the fighters aren't going to get a question. Joe, do you read scripts? No, I do not. I've never wrote a script. I've never recorded a, I never read a script. It's all off the top of my head. Everything I do is off the top of my head. Is Leon Edwards' next fight rematch with Colby? No. Dana cries in the shower if Bumdage wins. Yeah, then they'll say, oh, you know, he got caught. That's what it'll there'll be a whole narrative excuse. Do you think Bobby Green will be the same? It's impossible to know. Possible to know. Joey scripted the stream, that's facts. Max mentality has been changed a lot leading in this fight. I reckon the comments about the matchups are getting to him. Dude, it seems like every day I see a clip of him like crying online about someone not taking a fight or, you know, some dumb shit. How is the UFC three oh one poster better than three hundred? Don't ask me. Do you have a ghostwriter for the channel? No. No, I do not. I do not. Jamal Hover Sprayer is a terrible headliner for 300. The whole card is stacked with names but lacks star power. I don't think it's a terrible headliner for 300. I think it's decent. I think it's decent. But it could have been something crazier. What was the main event for UFC 184? Why do I feel like... One eighty four. One eighty four was in February, I believe. One eighty four. One eighty one. One eighty two. One eighty three. One eighty four. Honestly, the first name that jumped into my mind. And I don't know if it was that. I think around that time. I can't remember what it was. The first name that popped in my mind was maybe Rumble Johnson DC. But I don't think that's it. So. I don't know. I can't think of 184. 185 was Pettis versus RDA. What was 184? was in February. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's Ronda Zingano. Thank you for ruining it for me in the chat. I was thinking what it had to be like a Ronda fight or some shit. 184 was Ronda Zingano. Let me look it up. Let me see what else was on the card. Was DC on that card, right? Was DC DC was on that card, wasn't he? No, he wasn't. I thought DC was on that card. Maybe D, DC was on a Ronda card, I think, at one point. Okay. So, 
just hit a pothole an hour back and my rim is damaged, tire completely flat, left in the Walgreens parking lot. What an end of the day. That sucks ass. Bro, your smaller channel will have a way better chat than Lucas Tracy. Damn. I'll take the I guess it's a compliment. How does this car lack star power? I mean, I guess he means like a big star, but there's very few. Do you have more than two editors? I have no editors for the channel, just me. I don't know why Dana and Co, Co decided to put 301 in Rio when they have most of their Brazilian stars on 300. I have no idea. I'd pay to see Riles and Gano. Joey has a better shed than Guru. MMA Joey is definitely casual, not knowing that. Yeah. 185 is definitely RDA versus Pettis. 186. I don't remember. 187 is Rumble DC. And Comain was Weidman Vitor. 188 was Werdum versus Kane. Or were Doom versus no, it was were Doom versus Kane. Yeah, because it was in June. It was in Mexico. One eighty nine was in July. It was Connor versus Mendez. One ninety was in August. It was Rousey versus Betch Cojeda. One ninety one. Was Demetrius versus somebody, I think? 192 was DC versus Gus. 193 was Rousey versus Home. 194 was Connor versus Aldo. 195 was Lawler versus Condit. 196 was Connor versus Diaz. 197 was Jones versus OSP. Damn, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Bet you don't know 217. Wasn't that GSP Bisming? Joey, is it only you running the channel? No existence editors? No, it's just me. Who headlined 201? I believe that was Lawler Woodley, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was Lawler Woodley. Now, 187 was definitely DC Rumble, I think. Comain, I think, was Weidman and Vitor. I'm not looking up any of it. Are you going to wear your Ian Gary shirt for 300 stream? No. You made the Connor videos without any editors? Yeah. I mean, what the fuck? I didn't even edit those videos. That, that's live editing. There's just OBS. Who was the co-main event of 267? Co-main event in 267. Or 167? I'm thinking of 26. I'm thinking of 167. Dude, when you start mixing up the numbers, 167... Fuck, I don't even remember 167, but I started to think of something. 267. 267. Um, I'm trying to remember. 264 was Connor Dustin, 3. 265 was Derek Lewis versus Cyril Gaon. 266 was Ortega versus Volkanovski. 267 was Glover Jan. Co main event. Co main event. I don't remember the co main. But I know Hamzat versus Lee Jang Leung was on the card. Islam versus Drew Dober was on the card. I don't remember specifically what the co main event of that card was. So you got two, two, you got one eighty-seven. Perfect. Co-main was for a title. Two sixty-seven co-main. I doubt it was a women's fight because it was in Abu Dhabi. I can't think of what the co-main event was. Oh yeah, Islam fought Hooker. I'm sorry, Islam fought Hooker. I misspoke there. Oh, it was Piotr Jan, Corey Sanhagen. It was Piotr Jan, Corey Sanhagen, I remember now. So. Joey has an Ian Gary shirt. I have a St. Paddy's Day shirt. YouTube changed video layout? What are you talking about? It was Piotr Jan versus 
Corey Sanhagen. The channel seems to have more traffic than before. Are you staying under one editor? Yeah. You know what? I'm not hiring someone to edit. I don't even. I don't. I don't. I don't want to pay anybody to edit my videos, unless I make a shit ton. Got a little correct, Joey. This might be a long shot, but can you name the full main card for 217? It was an MSG and card with three title fights: GSP versus Michael Bisping, co-main Cody Garbrandt versus TJ Dillashaw two. Featured fight: Rose Nama Yunus versus Joanna and Jacek. I don't remember the rest. I don't remember the rest. I want to say Chris Weidman was on the card. Maybe Chris Weidman, Jacare. But I don't know. Costa Hendricks was on the card. Joey has better thumbnails than whoever made the UFC 300 poster. That's facts. Your thumbnail should be done by someone with better skills. Current thumbnails look like a child made them. They're supposed to be simple. Wonderboy Masvidal. What about 255? Might be a tricky one. You're telling me the photos and videos you have on those videos are from you yourself. Yes. The ones with the, the cool layout, I'm, I'm not even editing that. That's live. I'm switching scenes live that I have set up. 255. 251 was Jorge Masvidal fighting Usman. 258 was Burns Usman. 257 was Connor Dustin Two. 256. 255, Devison Figueroa, Alex Perez. 255, I mean. 255. 256 was Figgy Moreno. One. Joey, thoughts on Cowboy Serrani? I heard he's a racist scumbag. Dude, he's got a history of being called out for shit. We're saying bad shit. Appreciate the, uh, appreciate the grind, Joey. Loving all the content leading into 300. Yeah, I just pick out a pay-per-view that I can remember and then work my way back in my mind. You're telling me those videos? Yes, yes, yes. Every editing is from me, bro. I'm happy that you're easily impressed because I don't think I do that good of a job of editing. What is your opinion on Max saying gladiators don't walk to the scales? I think he's fucking stupid and it's going to cost him. What was the third early prelim at 224? No fucking idea. What is your opinion on... Okay, I already read that. Yeah, you got it. Appreciate the grind. Loving all the 300 content. I have more 300 content coming soon. Coming soon. I'm trying to remember what 224 even was. I don't even remember what card that was. This was a featured prelim at 266, dude. I don't fucking know. I know uh, Nick Diaz, Robbie Lawler was on that. Remember when no one would even say that Nick Diaz quit? Does anyone remember that? Nobody would say that but me. Everyone just danced around it because they didn't want to upset the Nick Diaz fan base. Straight up quit. Straight up quit. I said it literally immediately. So, Max versus Aspinall weight doesn't matter, apparently. Book it. Book it immediately. Thank you for the two New Zealand dollars, Manlet. I appreciate it. People might be sleeping on Hill in the main. I think they are. 224 is really bad. Just a shot in the dark. It's Amanda Nunes versus somebody, I'll say. But I don't remember who. Diaz didn't quit. He got his... Dude, shut the fuck up. If you don't think Diaz quit, you're a dumb fuck. He literally looked at the ref and said... Prime for prime, Ferguson Holloway at 155. I think Ferguson will win. I'll be sad when Justin knocks out the three remaining brain cells from Max when he knocks him out. Dude, Max is going to have a really bad decline, boys. And I think it starts against Justin Gaethje. I think it starts against Justin Gaethje. It's the end. Did you see that Ian Gary apparently signed a fight, but Colby didn't? Dude, I could have told you that a month ago. Joe, you're 100% valid for the Diaz Lawler take. And I remember saying that shit live. I remember saying that on a post fight. And I remember looking around. Nobody was saying that shit. 
People were scared of the Nick Diaz call. Apparently Marvin Vittori wants a pair of backward shorts. <laughs> Are you just comparing Holloway and Ferguson because they look similar? No, they have similar styles as well. People have been saying Max's decline had been coming for three years yet, and he hasn't fought that good of competition outside of Volkanovski, who he got absolutely demolished by. Who remembers Nick Diaz throwing in the towel to save Nate from Josh Thompson? I do. Does Kayla Harrison make weight? I don't know. I'm hoping so. Max is going to beat the picks out of Gaethje. You actually got to watch fights. I'll remember that, Baron. I don't remember that. Mark, somebody mark that down. Remind me that on Saturday. I picture Bo, Armin, Gaethje, Zhang, and Poetan. I agree with four out of five. That was a nasty head kick. Dude, it landed right on the forehead. I remember. They started Tony's losing streak. The first letters of the last name of the first guy who beat him. Gaethje, Oliver, Dare you spell God. What happens? What if the same happens to Max? Holloway did beat Allen... And his 12-fight win streak or something, Gaethje fights at a pace because he's gassing by round three. Yeah, Gaethje, Gaethje really gasses out. So, Gaethje really gasses out. Dude, beat the fuck out of Tony Ferguson who has the best gas tank for five rounds. Dude, how did Max not fight good guys outside of Volk? He beat Yair now. That's not what I'm saying, bro. That's not what I was saying at all. I'm saying he's not fought a guy like Justin Gaethje, okay? He's not fought crazy good competition since the beating to Volkanovski is what I was saying. A.K.A. the Korean Zombie. A.K.A. Arnold Allen, which is okay. I'm not saying he didn't fight good competition in his career. Obviously, he's one of the featherweight goats, dipshit. Pat Matthews, thank you for the 199. UFC 300, the biggest farts on the biggest stage. Yeah, thank you for the 199. Thank you for supporting independent MMA media. Anyone remember the Diaz bro jumping Mayhem Miller in the cage? I do. It was in Strike Force. I remember that. I remember that very well. Holloway, Gaethje, OSP, DDP. Okay. Been busy, but always find time to watch the channel. Make sure you check out the full card predictions for UFC 300. Check out the full card predictions. I'd like to get it over 10K by the time 300 comes around. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. It feels like time has gone by so fast. Remember when I was covering all the Connor shit? I was putting in some fucking work. I was putting in some fucking work. So. Damn. Tuavasa versus Tybora. <whistles> Absolute garbage. I can't believe my press conference reaction got 16K. That is wild. Who's the worst chin in the UFC currently? I'll say Dominic Reyes. KTV to wash up Tony Ferguson who almost got KO'd even more. Dude, Tony was not washed at that time. Anybody says that, we didn't watch the sport then. For speculation, DDP's girlfriend is just a UFC employee and not his girlfriend. How does that make any sense? Been I already read that. Diaz bros never quit 100%. Where I'm from, people who say that get, smack get smacked. All right, what does this mean then? In mid-fight, looking at the referee and doing this, what, what does that entail? I want to see Gaethje versus Saryukian. Easy win for Saryukian. What are the odds he'll miss his weight? Imagine what a fucking catastrophe that would be. Imagine what a catastrophe that would be. Oh my good. If he'll miss his weight. I don't think he will. He looked in good shape. I just seen a thumbnail of him at the press conference. But he looks. Or not the press conference. The presser. But yeah. We shall see. Nick completely quit against Robbie in the second fight. That's facts. Hill first round KO. No. 
Would you get double eye poke by Wyman for eight grand? No. Did you see the YouTuber Furious Mass Debater said about you? <laughs> Dude, that's corny, but actually a little bit funny, so I'll let you slide on that one. I, I realized it like mid read, and I, I let it slide. Furious Masturbator is what he's trying to get me to say. So I'll just say it for you. You could have just asked me to say it. Um, but good one. I could have stopped, but I thought I thought at least it's not a some type of racial slur or some weird shit. So I figured I'd give it to you. I could have stopped. Thoughts on Darius versus Pimlet in the UK? Darius fucks up Pimlet, I think. We had to go through horrendous fight cards. Dude, we're going to go through horrendous fight cards after 300. What's up, Joey? Less streams this week. You dropped the ball. Dude, I've been fucking busy with content. And it's been nice weather. So I've been out disc golfing it up. Not really. Not really, actually. That was more of last week. I've been busy making content. I got a video waiting in the bank right now that I got to edit. I'll edit that tomorrow when I wake up. And, uh... That'll be out tomorrow afternoon at some point. I'll probably edit it like 3 o'clock this morning. Joey says, Furious Math Debater. Realistically, who does Gamrot fight next? No fucking clue. I don't know. Maybe the Jalen Turner rematch? I don't know. Maybe Dan Hooker? Probably Dan Hooker. Benoit saint -Denis. I'd love to see that. I really want to see Udo Schmedage versus Tim Means. Yeah, that's a banger. Me and Joey got haircuts together that we did. Who's the backup for the main? My guess is Yuri would step in. Gamrot versus Islam? Sure. Gamrot versus Pimlet? Sure. Easy win for Gamrot. I wouldn't mind seeing Islam versus Gamrot, but I think Islam would chin him bad on the feet. Just dominate him on the feet. So I'm not like dying to see that. Does Bobby Green have CTE? No, I just think he's basically just an idiot in general. So. I hope Cody doesn't get brutally KO'd. I think he will. I forgot about Pimlet. Yeah, Pimlet's just disappearing into the ether right now. He's just disappearing into the ether. Dustin versus Gamrot is logical. I like it. I like it. Gamrot only lost to Darius and a robbery loss to Guram. He should have lost to Armin, though. Set Armin back a little bit. Is Nico Price still around? I think he just recently got a fight announced. To be honest. To be honest, I think he just recently got a fight announced. So... Hold on one second. Do do. Damn, that's crazy. Just crafty vet Miller chin, King Green. Thank you for the two dollars. No. It's possible, but I I think Green's going to piece him up on the feet, man. Piece him up on the feet. Thoughts on Strickland turning down Costa because of money? Does he deserve more money? He's allegedly taking the fight now. Joey, have you ever been in a brutal fight? Only when I got stabbed. Um, But yeah, I don't think Miller can chin Green. It's possible Green's chin's completely gone, but doubtful. Who do you got, Ian, Gary, or Colby? They're never going to fight because Colby doesn't want to smoke. Colby's a pussy, beta male pussy. Double puss. King of Spartan, 300, UFC 300. See men coming to fight off the Trojans. Okay. Joey got a fresh cut for 300? Always. Always. I mean, that, look at this thick, luscious hair, too. I mean, seriously. Look at this thick, black. I can't believe somebody, some motherfucker said the other day, Joey dyes his beard. Now, this is all natural, bro. I've never dyed anything in my whole life. 
This is all natural. I occasionally get like a, I'll get like a gray mustache hair once in a while. Once in a blue moon randomly. I don't see any right now. I don't see any. But that, that this beard is pretty dark though. I got to admit. I mean, honestly, sometimes I, I look into my stream and I'm, you know, like, damn, this one's sexy motherfucker. <laughs> look at this beard. No wonder I can't leave the house without getting hit on. I mean, it's it's a blessing, but it's also a curse, you know? I don't trust Bobby after getting beat by Jalen. That's true. What do you think of the UFC custom shirts? Shorts? I think it's something cool. It's different. Joey, it would work with your hairline. What are you talking about? Joey, did you, ever, did you never think of training MMA? MMA in general? I, mean, I thought of it. Pat Matthews, thank you for the 199. You who, here comes the doo-doo. Okay. I look like an HVAC guy. Okay. Uh, that was a cool shirt. Pereira had one for himself for 300. I haven't seen the shirt. Shut up. That's Mr. Colby for you when he gets mentioned the second greatest welterweight ever. Shut up. You're only safe because I allow you to be. Okay. Dude said, not enough streams, not enough streams, not enough streams, not enough streams. How many streams did I do this week? This is my second stream, bro. This is my second fucking stream, bro. My second stream of the night. Not my second stream, second stream since Saturday. And I'll do another one tomorrow and another one Friday. So... Fuck all y'all. I'm going home. I can't believe the amount of motherfuckers in my chat that's jealous, jealous of this luscious beard and this luscious hairline. I mean, seriously. You guys wish. Look at this. You know how much you know how much Derek would pay to have this? Like, seriously. This is pretty slick. This is pretty slick. And anyone making fun of this? This here? My hair grows out. I was a burn victim, okay? That's, if you see the discoloration on my forehead, that's from burns. That's from burn. That's from, that's from running into a burning building, bruh. So, actual Australian. Thank you for the seven ninety nine. Joe, would you delete your channel and go to Turkey and get a beanie if you started going Magni mode on top? Now I just shaved my hair bald. I've secret like I don't want to say this out loud because I don't want to like have bad karma. I've always wanted to just shave my head bald. So, that's why I started cutting my hair short last year. Last year, I started shit. I actually got a, a haircut too short. I forgot what I normally get, and I told him the wrong shit, and I got my haircut too short. And then I just said, fuck it. I love this, so I'm sticking with it. So, but no, I would not delete the channel. I would just shave my hair bald, and I'd change my name to Bald MMA. You see how expensive the UFC 300 gear is? Yeah, dude. They're always trying to make a buck. I put a Venom shirt, got on the scale, and suddenly lost 10 pounds. That's facts. My hairline is getting to your level of crown soon enough. Dude, my hairline has looked... I, I wish... I, I gotta go take a picture of me as a child. My hairline's always looked... Ex, my hairline has not changed one bit. One bit. It might, it might look crazy because if you go back and look at older videos, I had longer hair. But my hairline has not changed once. Once. Since I was like five years old. I got pictures of me as like two years old downstairs. I have the same exact hair. So. You know. Um, always keep it short. I've been doing it for 25 years. Joey actually turns into Joker. You want to know, know how I got these scars? Yeah. Perfectly symmetrical burns. That's not what it is, bro. That's not what it is. I have burns. All up. Look, 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 look. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to. Angle it. Look, all right here. You see this colored? It goes all across my forehead and all right here. And it's, there's actually some right here, too. Look, you can see it. If you see, if you look closely, you can see the discoloration on my forehead. You can see it all, where it's at. So. I mean, that's facts. That's facts. How's Jamal Hill going to fight with an ankle monitor on? I don't know. Do you need to wear some ridiculous sunglasses for the stream one day? I will. Joey, have you ever had long, luscious hair? Not super long, but pretty long. 
You hype for the press conference? I don't really care for the press conferences that much. I, I hope they announce something cool. Imagine buying Holloway shorts and he gets KO'd. Imagine buying UFC merchandise at all. No, I would never buy UFC merchandise. I would buy I'd buy memorabilia, that's it. I'd buy UFC memorabilia, that's it. I mean, you can go back, but it's hard to say because I mean, when I go back in time on my pictures, you're not really going to see my hairline all that much because I had long hair. But same hairline, always. Always the same hairline. But it's just hard to see because the way I cut my hair. Damn. Damn, I got some old ass pictures here. Venom shirt for 300? Probably not. I don't know. I might break out the Venom shirt. I may break out the Venom shirt. Joe was rocking a ponytail. Yeah, I was, I was rocking a mullet. I've always thought about getting a mullet. What do you guys think if I get a mullet? Should I get a mullet? Conor McGregor in the wind? Do you think John Morgan is going to say question for Marina Rodriguez at the press conference? Sure. John Morgan is going to say anyone got some hamburger helper. Jamal Hill could impose mental image of his brother on Pereira's face and get a rage up, rage power up. Fuck it, get a mullet. 12K for the lowest fight in the UFC is absolutely ridiculous. It needs to be 50K immediately. I don't know what it needs to be, but it needs to be better. I think there should be a guaranteed yearly salary, regardless of how many times you fight. Obviously, you are required to take fights unless medically unable to and confirmed by a UFC doctor. Guess what the first thing I'm doing in the morning is donating, sending me a super chat. I got I got a pay-per-view to pay for, all right, buddy? I got way too many pictures on stream on my phone to admit it. That's fucking weird. But I know what you mean. You took some screenshots, I guess. Yeah, the Venom shirt has to come out for 300 It might. The Venom shirt might come out. Fries has got just nonstop screenshots of another grown man on his phone. Another grown man. Yeah, but the UFC doctor would just try to act like they're fine and let's be honest. That's true. That's true. Bring Kies and Kevin Lee for the presser. Who wants to do a shot? Nobody, Pat. Nobody. Nobody at all. I got one. Dude, the worst part is Kevin Lee only said something about his mom being in attendance. He didn't actually talk about his mom. Dude threw a fucking hissy fit like a pussy. I wish he, I wish he would have lost. He won, didn't he? Or no, he did get choked out, right? And he complained early stoppage. I think he complained early stoppage, if I'm not mistaken. They're going to have 26 fighters up there and skip Marina. Not... Dude, they're going to skip like 14. That's my favorite picture, bro. That's great. Dude, watching Ian Gary, Ian Machado Gary, just put a master class on Jeff Neal was glorious. Joe, would you have a beer with me in real life? No, I don't drink. So, you're going to break out the proper 12 for 300? No. Holly laughing hysterically in the corner of the screen as Kiesa bitches. Question for Jeff Neal. I wonder what the presser is going to look like tomorrow. I wonder what the presser is going to look like tomorrow. I truly wonder... Let's look up UFC 300. Let's see what we got popping. We got UFC Fight Pass going on. I'm done. I was just curious how many people are alive. About UFC 300. Damn. I'm, I'm really struggling with what's going to happen after 300. I'm so happy we have an off week after, though. 
Joey Machado, how does it feel to be destroyed by MMA in viewership? What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. I wonder what my ass is going to look like tomorrow. Gaping, probably. Um, well, Not even a root beer. I only drink water. It's the only thing I drink. What's the best thing to Uber Eats right now? I have, dude, I have no idea. That's just too expensive. I'm not, that's too rich for my blood. Could you see 300 being mid? I could, bro. I could. UFC going to peak at 300? They should just cancel the show forever? Yeah. Joe, you changed my life. How did I change your life? I feel like that's a massive exaggeration, but I'll take it. I'll take it, buddy. I can't wait. I've been staying up way too late. And it's been killing me. Literally killing me. I'm going to sleep like a fucking baby tonight when I go to bed. Um, UFC going to peak. Joey, you changed my life. Joey Machado, how does it feel to be destroyed in viewership by so-and-so? Don't care. Wish him the best of luck. I'm happy for him. <laughs> what is that supposed to upset me? Like, bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. We'll see. We'll see where I'm at in a couple of years, bro. Adam far off with the spam. Brundage under two minutes. Take it to the bank. Am I the only one to see Max versus Justin canceled through UFC on Google? Let me take. A, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Let me take. Oh my god, you fucking sucks. No, it says it on here on Google canceled. But um. I wonder why. I'm going to tweet that out. I'm going to tweet that out real quick. Probably means nothing, but Google is currently showing Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway as canceled. Screenshot. Boom. Boom. It has said cancel for a while. Okay, I did not know that. Thank you. Been seeing that for the last two days. It said cancel since a month ago. Bro, it's fake. It's been saying that. I did not know that. I did not know that. Yeah, I don't usually believe that, but sometimes it could be. I've seen it before pop up and then it end up being true. Chandler said in a recent interview he hopes to fight Connor at 400. Where did Chandler do an interview? That's the real question. Where did, dude, you know me. You know that meme of that black guy in the yellow suit rubbing his hands behind a tree? When you tell me new Michael Chandler interview? I'm thinking. I'm thinking, oh yeah, buddy. I'm not finding anything though. Delete that tweet. I mean, there's nothing. I, I didn't say that it was canceled. I feel like Diego Lopez should have been on 301 instead. Probably. Not real. It's a glitch. It's not real. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I was never implying that it was real, but I have seen in the past shit like that happen. I have seen it happen before. Yeah, someone immediately responded. It's been like that forever. Okay, I trust their words. Joey's got to chill with that Chandler stuff. He's making the right choice. It was a joke. Are you paying mods over or under 10k a year? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? You ever play Silent Hill? I have not. Joey, does Charles Oliveira have a reasonable chance to win his up and coming fight at 300? Yes, Charles Oliveira has a reasonable chance to win his upcoming fight at UFC 300. Facts. Time out for Snaggy Poo, Snag Lord. Snag Lord? I mean, 199 Pat? Or, like, seriously, I thought we upgraded to 499 for timeouts. I'm going to let Snag Lord. I'm going to let Snag Lord uh, rebuttal you. I'm going to let him rebuttal you, bro. For 199, I'm going to let him rebuttal you. Resident Evil, you ever played? I don't think so. Not that I remember. Joey, who wins Pat Matthews versus French fries in a street fight? Pat Pat Matthews definitely loses. He's a pussy. 
Yeah, play taps. Play taps. So, hey, so, some, somebody tell me to time out Pat Matthews. Some Somebody tell me to, to time out Pat Matthews. I'm done. I must do it now. I must do it. I must do it, Pat. Pat, where where is uh, Snagglord hanging out now? I don't see him. I don't see him. Imagine Snagglord just pops in with a twenty to before I catch him. I don't even see Snagglord, bro. Are you telling me to time out someone that's not even in the chat? <laughs> there he is, Snag. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I don't feel right about this either. I really don't feel right about this snag. Just know just know it's just business, all right? Where just think about it as you as you milk and pat for money basically. You're you're physically milk and pat for money. Jay, what's the reasonable possibility of Brundage upsetting? Less than 5%. Yeah, can we get can we get can we play taps in the chat? Can we play tops in the chat? I hope Snagglor comes back and, and times out you, Pat. I really want to time out, Pat. Yeah, I actually don't feel good about that. Honestly, I don't feel good about that at all. I'll, I'll put some trumpets in the chat as well. I save all my money for these streams, no fap. Pat. You're a real piece of shit. Let's talk now. It's just business. Exactly. It's just business. Joey McGregor, it's just business. Yep, it's just business. Imagine Pat donated 500 and said ban him for a half hour. Ripping ass and skip. Dude, Pat, you're a fucking weirdo, bro. I want to know how old Pat is. I feel like Pat's like 22. And he's just obsessed with making fart jokes. Jay, how does Jones Miocic happen, honestly? Don't ask me how it happens. I have no fucking clue. I have no clue. Pat is a fan of Guru? Okay. Does Jones Miocic happen? I'm going to say it never happens. I'm going to say it just keeps falling apart and falling apart and falling apart. What's a reasonable four or five fight parlay? Hill, Armin, Sterling, Yuri, Jalen. No. Jalen... Armin Hill, Jalen, Armin Hill, Figgy, Whaley. There you go. Pat is either twenty two or in his late forties. Yeah, I'm wondering now if it ever happens. I feel like it's just never going to come to fruition for one reason or another. Like, the next fight, Stipe is going to get injured and pull out. I mean, Stipe sat out for four fucking years. Think about this. Stipe has not fought since I had a channel. Think about that. Stipe has not fought since I started my channel. Think about how wild that is. Um, when it comes to John Jones, he's only got one fighter on his mind. That's true. He wants Stipe Miocic. I feel like Pat Matthews is a 45-year-old third grader, if you ask me. Jones has only fought once since you started your channel. Yep. Connor's fought once. Right? Yep. Imagine fighting for the belt in 2024 and never wearing Venom yet. That is crazy. You never even wore Venom yet. Do you have a fight kit or just a Venom shirt? Just a Venom shirt. I didn't buy no fucking fight kit. What do I look like a clown? I bought that shit off Amazon. 
Joey, it's crazy to look back how active Charles was, and now he's barely fighting once a year. Dude, he got that pay. He got that pay and said, you know what? Let me just chill for a little bit. I've been active for so long. I've been active for so... Dude. Dude, we got Cody Brundage holding a fucking trophy. What the fuck? It's wild. Joey's crazy. Look, okay, I read that game bread more like brain dead. Yeah. Joe, when does your investigating report on John Jones' drug test come out? I already did a video on that, bro, but there's not any more information yet. Pulled out one he pulled out a one fight, slowed the brakes. Hey, I'm not. I'm just saying. I, I wish he was more active. Jay, what's some good advice for the new channel? How did you get this far? I mean, I'm still a relatively small channel. I mean, I'm. A, I consider myself a small channel. I don't. Cons you act like I'm some huge channel. I'm a fucking small channel. I got 20k, which is crazy, but it's still a very small channel, honestly. Um, but just make content and try to get better every single time. Every single video, try to improve something. They took photos with Larry O'Brien trophy. I don't know who Larry O'Brien was. Hundred percent, Colby's ducking until prove otherwise. That's facts. Would you be happy if Brundage knocks Bo out cold? I would cry tears of joy. I would cry fucking tears of joy. It would be the funniest shit ever. It'd be the best day of my life. Be the best day ever. Strickland a month ago, I got enough money. I don't never need to fight. Strickland this week, give me more money. Can't believe I'm not getting paid. Wouldn't shock me if he got a massive pay decrease from losing the title. Wouldn't shock me. Would not shock me at all. Hope Blades gets a title shot. Bro deserves it. Strip Stupid Jones and make Tom versus Curtis for the Undisputed. I'm with you. Do I still think you can make 20k by Saturday? It depends what how many videos I put out. But yeah, it's possible for sure. It's possible. I just this last week has been horrible in terms of it's not horrible in views, it's just nobody subscribed. The last week I've gained like 100 subs. That's hor that's like the worst in channel history. Yeah, I've literally gained 100 subs in the last 7 days. That's fucking atrocious. Views are okay. Views are on par with normal. Watch time is actually up. Revenue's up, but subscribers are down massively. Not losing subscribers, but just not picking up a lot. I don't know if it just has to do with like a lot of oversaturation of 300 or what. Joe, have you seen a tornado? I've asked since... No, I have not. That is scary, bro. That is... I've never seen one. UFC 300 has bad views really doing low numbers. I haven't been looking really... The views for me have been all right. Imagine getting 20K on Saturday. Shit would be lit. I mean, I'll definitely get it, I would say, next week. We need to bring out the... No, I don't want you to bring out bot accounts. Joe, give us John Anik, Line Zinger, Johannesburg, Stand Up. Your boy DDP is bringing the title home. I, I don't got one, dude. I don't have one. Detroit! Jamal Hill has... Decided that Alex Pereira is only safe because he allows him to be safe. I don't know. Something along those lines. Nickel versus Malkoon makes sense. Is they're feeding Whitaker to Hamzat. Sure. Book it. Thank you, Joey. I will follow the voice. Vice. Brundage versus Nickel in the main card is still ridiculous. I don't know how they get away with that shit. It's disgusting. It's disturbing. It's despicable. So. Yeah, that's, that's the gist of it. If there's somebody watching right now who's not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Is Snag Lord going to show back up or what? Give us a John Anik, where are my Mexicans at? Where are my Mexicans at? Did he say that? I don't ever remember him saying that. I don't ever remember him saying that. But, yeah. <laughs>
Will Joe Rogan fake a reaction if Bo Nickel gets KO'd? Basically, yeah. He said it and it's funny. I never heard him say it. If Bo keeps winning, they're going to hype him up like 209 Brock Lesnar. Oh, that's facts, bro. That's facts. Joe, imagine Hill sucker punches Alex before the fight starts and knocks his teeth down his throat. <laughs> Ian says, clean up my house, bitch. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. That'd be absolutely insanity. It'd be straight up insanity, bruh. USA Wrestling, you got one. That's true. That's true. Uh, I want to see a reaction of Dana. Of Dana, dude. I wish there was a Dana cam. I wish there was a Dana cam. I'd love to see a Dana reaction cam. Pat Matthews, thank you for the 499. I have a great relationship with my proctologist. He's always behind me. I'm glad to hear that, Pat. I'm glad to hear that, Pat. Pat, why don't you just drop a 50 and, and pay for my uh, UF, basically pay for my UFC 300 pay per view? All right, Pat, at this point, you're going to say, you, I, let, I allow you to get away with basically spamming fart and shit jokes 24 7 because you're a long time listener, first time caller. Has this and DDP been agreed to verbally for Perth? I have, I would assume. But we do not have that information. They need to pay fighters more if Jamal Hill catches domestic violence and GBH charges over 300 bucks. Who's GBH? Nickel by TKO or sub? I say sub. Sub. I'd rather have late stoppages than early this card. Need highlights, death. I'm with you. I need to have my own personal Dana cam. I snuck in. Okay. There's a damn chance we get Blade Stipe for the UFC title as wild. That would be fucking crazy. Dana would have the same reaction Tyson Fury had when AJ KO'd Francis. Okay. I mean, he picked AJ to KO Francis. Grievous bodily harm. Oh, I see. I see. Dude caught a GBH over 300 buckaroons. I, I don't want to make that video. Just, just to, for lols, honestly, I think it'd be pretty funny, for lols. For lols, they're pretty damning accusations. <laughs> Snag Lord, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Pat Matthews has been around for ages, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I gotta stop it soon. <laughs> but just, hey, just think of it, dude. You're in the end, you're winning, Snag Lord. In the, in the end, you're winning. You're draining money out of his bank account. So you're really actually winning. Snag. Don't take it to heart. You're winning the, you're winning the dispute, in my opinion. Prime for prime, Stipe Blades. Stipe. Stipe has good wrestling. And, uh... I think that, uh... I think he'd stuff the takedowns, and I think he'd box up blades on the feet. Joe, you are winning because all the money's being drained to you. Don't listen to him, Snag. <laughs> Joey, did you see the UFC doing a thousand dollar UFC three hundred mystery box? No, I did not. Damn, UFC out there grifting up a storm. Grifting up a storm. Greetings, Joe. Long time caller, first time listener. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys could all like the stream, if you guys could all subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. I mean, I'm streaming at, at 12 o'clock right now. I just dropped a video not that long ago, which is a straight up heater, by the way. Straight up heater. Greetings, okay, Joey about to hit the mall tomorrow after all these donations. <laughs> I, dude, I haven't been to the mall in ages. I never went to the mall, even when the mall was popular. Must be nice charging 1K a ticket and giving 2020 to early prelim fighters. That's facts. If you pay 115 for some UFC shorts, you're a mark. You're more than a mark. You're fucking mentally ill. UFC putting out all this 300 content and no one's watching it, relatively speaking. I haven't really been paying attention. Has it? So... You think Jim Miller can make it to 400? 
Yeah, he's definitely going to make it to 400. Absolutely fucking not, dude. He would never, ever in a million years make it to 400. Ever, 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 ever. Damn. I can't believe UFC 300 is upon us. It is upon us, boys. You want to see those Tracy Cortez customs? Um, okay. Okay. I'm glad you enjoy the custom shorts. No donuts till you block this weirdo. Just ignore him, bro. He's a weirdo. What's shaking? Quick question. Is your beef with nickel versus bomb just because of the placement on the card or the fact that it's even on the card in the first place? Placement on the card. If it was the first fight of the night, no gripe. I'm still scheduled to go to this weekend, but may just pay to go to the spear card instead. Did you already buy tickets, though? If you bought tickets, what, are you going to sell them somewhere? Joey, who wins you versus a small chimp? Shut up, dude. What's fighter card will continue? No. Max was pissed at Connor for laughing at his shorts. Dude, Max seems like he's got a stick up his ass this week. Does he not? Got a flight and hotel. Both refundable. How do you plan on getting a ticket? Like finding one down there? I'm assuming. But listen, boys. I'm tired. I'm going to go jump in the shower. I will be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. What a load of shit. Max seemed a little CT-ish at the presser. Dude, I've, when I've seen clips, he's seen a little CT-ish. So, Max seems like bitter. I, like, I haven't seen a lot, but it's, he seems almost bitter. Does, has anyone else seen that? Has anyone else seen that? I've only seen a few clips, so I don't know. I haven't watched anything in depth or anything like that. But he almost seems bitter. I don't know if he's pissed he took this fight or what. I do not know at all. Maybe he just doesn't like that people are counting him out and he's pulling a Jamal Hill. All right, listen, boys. Go watch my video grading UFC 300 that I put out two hours ago. Watch it from beginning to end. Like it, comment on it, boost it in the algorithm. Check out my full card predictions. Check out my UFC 300 playlist. It's all on the channel. Easily findable on the front page of my channel. Goodbye. Good night. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the UFC 300 press conference. I got one dude on my mind. I got one dude on my mind.